there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you on, well, it's not Friday. We're day late this week, but Saturday, February 17th, 2018. And as you can see, we're on the road this week. That's what Cancun looks like in the background. It's quite lovely here. There's the ocean. So we're doing the weekly market wrap up on the road, which is good stuff, of course. And sorry if the lighting isn't great, although I think you know what I look like by now. And in either case, we're going to do something a little different today for a couple of reasons. A, I mean, how many more times do you need to hear me talk about bond yields and the dollar collapsing? And also, I want to go hit that beach soon. But did want to give a quick update. Um, Especially some of you may be familiar, Anarcho Polco, a uh, crypto, precious metal, basically we don't need the government to run our life, uh, conference going on in Acapulco, which was my original destination, although when I bought my plane ticket, I didn't carefully check to see that it was sold out. So we rerouted here, which in life's own grand scheme of things is kind of how I think these things are actually supposed to work and how that ties back into our beautiful Arcadia Economics channel is that, you know, in the end, understanding the dollar, what the Fed is doing, or what's going to happen in the stock market, the actual technical details aren't really that complex. Sure, there's a lot of opinions, and things can get confusing, and, you know, and that's why make the videos at least sharing what I've seen, what I've learned, what I'm seeing, and what I believe now, and to the degree that hopefully that's some useful insight that's making life easier. Um, well, that's really the goal. Although, you know, again, there's, like many things in life, there's that technical aspect, which, you know, has its own rightful place, yet what I think can be easy to lose track of in today's culture, and I won't give any lectures, but speak specifically for myself here, is often how to balance these things together. And I say that in the sense that I remember, uh, now we're in 2018, amazingly enough, so seven years ago I was still sitting on the New York Stock Exchange slinging options every day, and... Um, you know, and on one hand, you know, there were good technical skills that were learned. I think I was trained well, have applied a lot of that training and is serving me well. Yet, I also look at the way I was mentally and emotionally. I was pretty typical angry New York trader. Um, I remember often feeling in ways that I didn't understand quite as much back then, although certainly now seeing how what we think about and the mental part really is often the cause of these things that develop, whether it's health-wise or in our life in different areas. And along those lines of working around a lot of people, unfortunately I wasn't the multimillionaire in the industry, but worked around enough of them. And even uh, remember from my childhood where my mom was a family therapist in, you know, near New York. So I was always familiar with the idea that you could have a lot of money and still be completely miserable at the same time. So, you know, you can also have no money and be completely ecstatic. And, you know, maybe there's some sweet spot in there where you can have the money to do the things that you want and enjoy life and have them in context, which I like to think is what I've been working towards now. And I guess where the whole being here in Cancun, it, you know, at first I was upset. All right, I booked a plane ticket to a conference that was sold out. Yet, I think there's something important about mixing in some space and not just always having that typical grind that we're so conditioned with, especially in uh, North American, especially on the East Coast, anywhere around New York. Um, there's that mentality of working hard, which is a good, which can be a good thing. Um, yet also balancing and realizing that every once in a while, you know, taking some space, relaxing and not letting, whether it's trading, investing, or anything that we're doing, really dominate our life to the point where the other things lose meaning because 
Otherwise, you can sit there one day with a big pile of money and be miserable and realize, well, something is off here. Um, and again, everything I've studied psychologically, when you think about how the mind actually works and really when you get into, and I'm not claiming by any means that I'm using my mind's full power, although at least aiming to get a little bit closer to that, and especially in the past six years, studying a lot more about marketing, uh, just the subconscious mind, which to me are all very heavily interrelated, seeing the value of, yes, it can be good to put pressure and dig in deep in things, but then also come back and mix that space. And before you think I'm getting too far off the reservation, one way of thinking about that is if for example, you're invested in cryptos or gold and silver or stocks or any of these things. I wish there were a way that everybody just had infinitely everything they needed. The money wasn't even necessary. Life was just so perfect. We were 3D printing everything, which perhaps in the future, I don't, I don't know if it's completely unrealistic, uh, especially if we get some of these government nitwits out of the way, which I continue to believe is happening. Um, Yet, with that said, you know, since we're not there perhaps just yet, you know, that's why we invest, we save money, and we try and think where's a safe place to put this that will be there when I need it, or perhaps even grow it. Um, yet, the markets don't always work in this straight line where you figure out the answer and as soon as you say, oh wow, this looks like a good investment, it's not always that everyone else sees it at the same time. So we see things go up and down. We see the cryptos in particular, a very clear example lately with Bitcoin going to 20,000, then it was down to 6,000, uh, and now it's rebounding again, uh, close to 11,000 as of uh, filming up this video here today. And the point I'm getting at here is that ultimately Bitcoin or any crypto or any asset at some point in time is going to be worth what it's worth. Yet perhaps really the true skill in trading or investing or really any sort of decision making where you have important things going on is being able to, you know, you, yes, you want to do your homework, you want to think what makes sense, understand what you're doing, but then also be able to live with how these things are unfolding and not have Bitcoin dropping from 20,000 to 6,000 impacting your life in a way that is not really productive or positive anymore. And sure, there are those days you wake up and you see something you own getting smashed and you're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? This thing's getting torched here. And I think that's very natural. But actually, let me rephrase that. I'm not sure if that's natural. I think the way that we've been conditioned in uh, Western society has become very natural. Um, again, why I found things like meditation and breathing really instrumental in being able to balance the thinking, the strategy, the analytical part that I love, along with the results that come. And of course, it's not like if your investments get slaughtered, you maybe it's not going to be the warmest, fuzziest morning of your life. Yet, being able to remain calm, being able to remain at peace, so then you can actually think, all right, well, I did this, this happened, I did or didn't expect it. You know, a lot of people are panicking and freaking out because they saw it went lower, yet not making decisions on, all right, why did it go lower? Or the fundamentals change? Is something different actually happening? And that's hard to do when we're panicked and rushing around and freaked out like we've been conditioned to do so much in this society. Um, but when you think about it, if you're able to take a deep breath and be calm before you respond to anything, imagine if every time, imagine if, you know, this is something I tried and found quite helpful. I don't respond to emails right when I read them anymore, especially stuff that maybe I'm like, oh my God, what this person just say? With just, imagine if everything you did 
you had that pause in there. You take a deep breath and and all of a sudden, you, I mean, just think of all the, the violence or the anger that happens, mainly because people are acting in an elevated state of mind, not elevated in a positive way, but they're, they're not breathing, they're not thinking clearly and making decisions, which usually doesn't lead to the best outcome. Certainly, if you're trading, um, uh, to use some poker terminology, on tilt, meaning you're pissed off about what just happened while you're trying to decide what to do next, that can be a pretty dangerous thing, which is why, and we're going to wrap up here today, hopefully today's Zen Weekly Market Wrap-Up has been somewhat useful, but which is why I'm really grateful that in life's own way uh, ended up exactly where I was meant to be, whether you have a chance to come down to Cancun, which I would highly recommend, uh, the Oasis, a great place here. Snoop Dogg's coming next month, so I'm in good company. But whether it's going to a beach somewhere or just going out for a walk or perhaps that one day in the future where you've done your homework, you knew something so thoroughly, and then for reasons that no one really could have rationally predicted, life just worked out another way. To me, that's the real skill in trading and investing. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can go read the internet, watch this, watch other channels, and find, you know, if you sift through enough stuff, you can get what's going on. But it's one of those things where, you know, we can talk about having good posture. Oh, let me get those shoulders up there. Yep, yeah, see? You know, and we can think about these things, but do we actually apply and do them? And I've been blessed to have this nice week here where I've been able to still follow what's going on, yet also get some space and kind of reset the mind in a really positive, healthy way. Realize a lot of the things that I'm grateful for this year, even aside from the investments, but just, hey, maybe whether the investments or everything was gone tomorrow, can we wake up and realize what we're here and we actually do have a lot of skills to carry us forward and let 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 the other things be secondary to that. Um, I find that as I've gotten farther along that path, certainly has helped trading, helped investing, has also helped to make them more enjoyable, which I do believe is an important part. So with that said, find a time where especially if you're having a hectic day. If you can just go outside, walk the dog, eat something delicious, just hold an orange or just something that reminds you, all right, there is the world as we know it, but also going to find some peace today. And the more we do that, better trading results, I personally think you're going to get as well. So with that said, leave your comments, hit the subscribe button, have a beautiful, blessed weekend, and we will see you again next week. Bye. The land of